Welcome back to another GeoGuessr video and this one is exciting because there has been new coverage released in four African countries. So which countries have the new update you might ask? Good question. So the first one being Senegal. Notice we have some coverage all over the country, especially down here under Gambia. There used to be no coverage down here. Now there is. So if you open it up, we can see some, some very red soil here and a big uh, car blur. If you play GeoGuessr you're using some car metas and stuff, you have a lot of new stuff to learn because a lot of different cars that you will see throughout this video. The next country that has gotten some new coverage is Nigeria, which from what I know has gotten some new generation three camera coverage and also some weird cars that you'll see in a bit. As you might have noticed, we have some new coverage all the way up here in the northern Nigeria, where there used to be no coverage at all, basically. We can have a quick zoom in, have a look. So this is official coverage, and yeah, we have some, some new car metas with these stripes and the big uh, back of the car. And of course the follow car as well, the police one. The third country with new coverage is the good old Kenya. Good old Kenya has gotten updates pretty much all over the country. We can zoom in, click on the road, and here we go. This is an official coverage. We have some a new snorkel, snorkel new type of snorkel here. Uh, we might not have snorkel now as well in Kenya. So snorkel, see this car doesn't have snorkel, for example. So now you'll have some more cars to remember if you want to play with meta. And the big news that everyone is talking about is that Rwanda has got an official coverage in the capital city of Kigali. So if we open it up, so we see this Google car. Since this is all official coverage, you can expect it to see soon enough in the community world, diverse world, all the other player made maps and probably duels and battle royales as well. There are already some maps with the new coverage, so let's try the country maps first and then we'll try a map with all the new coverage together to see how we do. Big thanks to River Reads for making these country specific maps. If you want to check out his channel, the link will be in the description. So let's have a look. What do we have here? So this should be Senegal with these road lines without even looking at the car, which is something new. Okay, so this is the new Senegal car meta apparently. Now, where would this be? I have absolutely no idea, because because I don't even know anymore where you could be. We have a very adorable donkey here, that's what I notice. That, that's what really matters. I don't know, maybe somewhere far east, maybe, or never mind, it was west, quite northern. Oh, another one is, this is, th this looks very similar, but it's different, because I don't think we have that antenna on that other car. I'm sure GeoGuessr community will, will figure out which parts uh, have which cars. There will be tons of new meta if you want to learn learn it. But, 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 without paying too much attention to the meta, let's have a look at the landscape. It feels a bit different than the previous round, which was up here near Luga. Let's go... Could it be down here under Gambia or would it be greener there? Let's go under Gambia. Let's go there. Just because why not? It was basically the same place. But it was a different car, though. Hmm? Okay, fair enough. Okay, again, this, this car. Very red soil. Now, this is super red soil, which would make me think uh, under Gambia. Because I think uh, under Gambia, the soil is very red. I think. Let's have a look. A little bit north of Gambia, but, but okay, kind of kind of near Gambia. I guess you have that red soil. I'm learning along all of you here, so this is, uh, this is all new to me as well. Okay, we have... A, ooh. I imagine this round would be very difficult in like duels or, or battle royales. Because honestly, I, I, I don't know if I would recognize Senegal here. <laughs> very dry looking. We have some goats here and there. It feels very deserty. So maybe let's just kind of in the middle-ish here. Very dry looking. Okay, not too bad. Fair enough. And ooh, we have some interesting road lines here on the road itself with yellow ones. I guess you couldn't really see white road lines on this pavement, so they made them yellow, which would make sense. This feels, yeah, I was about to say coastal. We have water here, so surely this would be somewhere near the water. Very green. Ooh, is there coverage here? Could it ever be here? I have no idea if there even is coverage. But let's try. Let's try it there, because why not? No. <laughs> Wait, was water to the east? Oh no, <laughs> messed it up. But okay, that's something to keep in mind, that if you get water in Senegal, it, it could be this river. Let's move on to the new Nigeria coverage, get some feel to it. 
uh, see how it how it goes. Very exciting a new uh, update. Okay, so more car meta as as you might uh, expect. We have a follow car that's in front of us basically here. We are the follow car. Very very dark red soil here. Um, I I'm not sure where in Nigeria they have such a soil to be honest. I have many new things to learn myself now as well, which is it's just exciting. Let's go Keduna. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, a bit more north. Interesting, I would have expected the, that far north to be more dry. So that's something to keep in mind that up here it can be quite green and red soil as well. Here we have the typical Nigerian license plates with a follow car. Interesting that we have two follow cars even. This might be a very unsafe region. I've, I've seen some documentaries on YouTube that the, the, the northern part of Nigeria is very unsafe. So maybe there's a two follow car meta up there. I don't know. Any city names up here? Nor nursery and secondary school? Gombe. Gombe State. Now, where is Gombe State? Gombe is here. Here we go. Uh, so Gombe State University. But no, this is a secondary school. Can we find that? Can we 5k? Home of Ice Fish. Now, that draws my attention. <laughs> I can't find that school. I don't know. If it might be might be in a different city in this state. I'm not sure. But let's go. Let's go. Home of Ice Fish. Okay, it was close. Pace Setters. Here it is. Pace Setters School. Yeah. Okay. Close guess still. 600 meters away. Not bad. We have this car that... I think we had this car earlier when I showed you an example, which was quite far north, right? So let's go kind of northern Nigeria here. And okay, a little bit south near Kaduna. Now this would be... We have red on the left side. Generally, red on the left side, you get kind of more in southern Nigeria, and blue on the left side on these fellow cars will be in the northern part. So that, that would make me think... I think I saw some coverage the other day, like in very eastern city, like Port Harcourt. I think I saw some coverage there. So maybe let's go, let's go there, because this does feel coastal, pretty coastal as well, I think. It actually was. It actually was. Okay, let's go. Let's move on to the new Kenya coverage. Let's have a look what there what's new there. So yeah, we have this this car with no snorkel. So in Kenya you might get cars with no snorkel nowadays. Oh, where would this be? Pretty red soil, kinda hilly. I would guess maybe somewhere near Kusikisumu. Somewhere here, I think there was some new coverage. Okay, a bit more north, but kind of the right area, nice. Very dry, completely different feeling than the other coverage we just had. Oh, that's an interesting mountain, very kind of stands out. Mm, so where would this be in Kenya? Let's go, I, I, I don't know, maybe somewhere here, eastern, maybe? Oh, okay, I even got the right road, basically. So good to know, because in this area, uh, we can see a lot of these small mountains, small hills all around. Maybe you can see them in other parts of Kenya as well, but but that's something I haven't noticed before. Basically right in the center of Kenya, that is. This is such an interesting car with two antennas. At first I thought it was a camera glitch, but I'm pretty sure those are actual two antennas. This feels hilly, but not with as red soil as we had before, so I'm not sure, maybe kind of more closer to Nairobi? No? Oh, it was oh just the other side of the water, okay. This here, the car with one antenna. I can already tell there will be two antenna meta, one antenna meta. Again, very red soil, hilly, which would make me think maybe, yeah, somewhere we're gonna hear western part again. Okay, and one last round here. Ooh, okay, kind of very flat, red. Feels coastal to me with this type of sand. Um, so would it be this coast or maybe like Victoria coast? I, might, I would actually go more close to Victoria, maybe. Let's see. Oh no, I guessed in Tanzania. <laughs> I wanted to guess a bit more. <laughs> I wanted to guess a bit more north there. Uh, no, it was the, the eastern part. Okay. And next we have Rwanda coverage. Let's have a look what's new in Rwanda. Basically, in Rwanda, the coverage is in Kigali. Maybe they will add some new cities as well. I'm not sure about that. But currently, there is coverage in Kigali. As we both are learning right now, Apparently in Rwanda you can get the car completely blurred out as well, which is good to know. And we have the flag even. And we are riding on a mountain to the on mount, mountain is to the south. Which are the hilly parts of Kigali? I have no idea. This this looks quite hilly here, so we might be somewhere north of that hill. Not bad. 
this is the car that I had seen. I thought, oh, Kigali has this car, but apparently it might be hidden too. Rwanda is supposed to be one of the cleanest countries in the world, right? From what I've heard. We have some sort of a little napkin on the floor there. But, but I think population regularly goes out and picks up trash. As I'm learning just now, last Saturday of every month is the cleaning day in Rwanda. And in this time there is mandatory community world from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. So that's why it's so clean, they have to clean it. <laughs> Which, I mean, if, what, it's, it's clean, so... Mm, maybe not as clean as I would have expected, to be honest. We have a lot of trash here on the, on the side of the road. For the one of the cleanest countries in the world. Hmm. What I'm learning is that Kigali is quite hilly, so you can always have a look at the, like, we see some city to the south, we see some city to the east. So maybe let's go kind of northwest, maybe, somewhere here? No. <laughs> okay, no. And a good thing to keep in mind is that Rwanda drives on the right side. We have yellow back plates, white front plates, similar to Kenya and Uganda, but yeah, the big difference is that we are driving on the right side. It is very green, yeah, Kigali is very green, no, I'll give them that. So, uh, let's go... We're here? Okay, not bad. And the last round... Last round, I am not sure. I don't know if it was worth to kind of learn to distinguish different areas in Kigali, because if you get it in duels, I feel like Kigali is small enough to, to, to just get a good score, just recognize Kigali itself, kind of similar to Singapore. But if Rwanda gets some more coverage, then, then yeah, definitely should be worth learning more. And as the last map, let's play the Great Africa Update map, which has locations from all the countries that I just showed you together. So this would be Nigeria with this follow car. Blue on the left side would indicate kind of more northern coverage with quite a few palm trees and very green, huh? Hmm. That's not what I usually expect from north. Maybe it's not north. With this green, I would expect maybe to be kind of near near some water, near the river. Okay, wasn't as north as I thought. Okay, it was near Ife. Okay. Next, we have KG. KG. Could KG stand for Kigali? We have the car, we have the black car. These trees are very interesting, so these might be kind of help you to tell um, Rwanda apart, maybe, if you don't pay attention to the car meta, because definitely I can understand why people wouldn't want to learn all these car metas, especially since so many all of a sudden came out. Kind of, kind of removes some fun of the game. I can definitely see that. We have the Kenya, because there is a new snorkel car in Kenya as well, as I posted in some of the community updates. I think this would be more eastern part of the Kenya. Where does the road align? Maybe somewhere here. Oh, ooh, never mind. I was, I was in the wrong part. It was northwest. This is the Senegal. These poles, yeah, this kind of French style tops with waffle poles should be Senegal. Now, where though? Very dry, very, very dry. Uh -huh. Let's go mm, somewhere here. Not, not sure. Oh, wow. Very, very east. It's that dry there, huh? Mm. I expected for it to be kind of more green with, with different national parks nearby with some water. By the way, if you found all of this new information interesting and useful, press that like button, subscribe for more GeoGuessr content in the future. This should be Senegal, right? Uh, I think we had this, this little stubby antenna in front in Senegal, also just in terms of the landscape. Also, yeah, the poles again, it just, just felt very Senegalese. So let's go, yeah, I'm, I really should practice now my Senegal, because Senegal is a pretty big country, and now that it all basically has coverage, Definitely will pay off to know your regions, because currently I'm pretty bad at, at that. So let's get somewhere here. Now this time it was south, okay? <laughs> Thank you all very much for watching. On the right side there will be some more tip videos if you want to learn some more GeoGuessr. Huge thanks to all of the patrons and YouTube members for supporting this channel. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, be kind to one another, and see you all in the next video.